Okay, so if you folks want to get into uh, copying your vinyl albums and putting them on your computer, creating CDs, um, maybe um, syncing them into your uh, cell phones to listen to your old vinyl, um, may I make a suggestion? And I suggest the Art USB Phono Plus Auto File Computer Interface Box Module Black Unit Thingy. All right. Um, real quick, I like this. I like this piece of equipment. This has a very nice sound to it. I like its features. I love the sound of this output monitor here. You plug your headphones, earbuds, whatever you want into here. This sounds great. I mean, even if you didn't have a home stereo and you just wanted to break out a turntable and just jam on your headphones, I mean, this is the piece. This section right here is like a could go standalone. All right. So we have the input control, and this basically switches between the RIAA equalization standard. Uh, it, 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 uh, it kicks in the uh, RIAA preamp, which is what you need for an old school turntable to play through a stereo. Um, if you turn that off, then you can just go straight line in, so you can use like a standard tape deck, reel to reel, even a VCR. I know people used to put music on VCR tapes um, back in the day. We have a filter control here, and basically this is advertised to help take care of your turntable rumble. What it does is just knocks out some subsonic low-end frequencies. It does work. I don't have turntable rumble, thank God. Um, but I've a beat it, you know, with it in and out, and it takes away just a slight, slight bit of low-end in it. So if you have turntable rumble, um, you can use this and uh, really not degrade... Uh, the sound of your album. We have an overall gain control. Generally I leave this on zero, um, but I just did some recording of some old Charlie Pride albums for my wife and the album pressings were kind of dead. They didn't really have any volume to them, um, so I had to bring it up a hair to um, get the desired recording level. When I set the recording level, I want this to just barely tick red. This will be a green this will be lit up green, and then at the peak uh, signal on the uh, input, like if it's a record or a cassette, um, you just want this to just a barely titch uh, little red. Okay? This is your monitor source. I always leave this on both because I actually use both. Um, this is your monitor output jack. It's a 3.5 millimeter. I use headphones, so this is actually a 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch headphone converter. I don't like earbuds and I like my old school Sony headphones. MDR V6s by the way. This is the volume control or monitor level but this will be the volume control for this plug and this has no effect on the output level that your computer is going to see or that your stereo is going to see. This however does. Alright, stand by and I'll show you in the back. Okay, on the rear, we have the little socket here for uh, your external power. You can use a wall wart anywhere from 7 to 12 volts, and you can use AC-DC, and it doesn't matter what the polarity is. So if you've got a wall wart, a uh, little power supply that's within that voltage range, 7 to 12 volts, AC or DC, but as long as it physically fits in here, it will power this unit up. You won't worry about. You don't worry about. You have to worry about blowing it up. Okay. Um, this is the USB port that would plug into your computer. Um, I use this port on my computer. This port also powers this box, so I do not have to use an external wall wart. And I really like that because, you know, if you get a bogus wall wart or maybe something that's a little dirty, you could possibly um, contaminate your signal and get a little bit of hum in there. I just like to use the computer for the power supply. Okay, we have in and out optical in and outs. I don't use those, never have, school me. If you guys use it and you think it's better, let me know, okay? Here's a ground stud for the, for the uh, turntable. We have uh, preamp line output. We have preamp line input. These outputs would go to your uh, home stereo and these would come from your source. Um, for instance, your turntable or tape deck, reel-to-reel, -reel, what have you. 
Okay, um, let's see here. Let's show you the size overall. It's a fairly small piece. I like the construction of it. It's it's very very well put together. I was freaking out when I ordered it. A couple things I didn't really pay attention to the physical size, so I didn't know what that was going to be. And I'm thinking, oh crap! Look, it's like aluminum car stereo type amplifier construction here, right? And I'm seeing this on the picture, and I'm like, oh crap! I'm gonna have to get me some felt or some little rubber strips and glue onto there. No, you don't have to do that. This is actually they already thought of that. Um, this is all rubberized right here. These side pieces and the feet here are rubberized, which is way cool. They give you a, let's put that right side up. They give you a block diagram of how this unit's constructed. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice unit. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a, um, a really down and dirty, ugly schematic of just kind of a quick setup here on what you can do with this thing. Hold on. Okay, so here's the schematic. So we have the art box here, okay? We have our inputs, so we can go from phono, tape deck, to reel to reel, and then, like I say, we use our preamp and line uh, switch here to switch the preamp in and out for the phono. And basically, if you whatever you've got that's got RCA output can plug into that, all right? We have this RCA output that goes to our tuner, preamp, receiver, whatever piece we're listening to our music on with our speakers here, yada, yada, yada. We have the USB output to the computer. This is what we're gonna put our program on. We have our headphone jack. You can use the headphone jack and this at the same time if you'd like. Or if you want to do something at night, you got a little project you want to do at night, you don't want to wake everybody up in the house, you don't need to turn this on, you can just jam through your headphones. So I really like that feature and this is your volume control here for your headphones. So very simple to hook up, very easy to use. It comes with um, a little CD. Um, and it basically has, uh, let's see, the instruction manual on how to use this, as well as a paper manual. And on the CD, it also has a copy of Audacity. So that's kind of neat. I've already had that on my computer, um, so I don't really need to do that. So basically, you can just literally pull this puppy out of the box, hook it into your computer, hook it up to your turntable, and start copying your music. Sweet. They're $79. I got this at Sweetwater online. Yeah, online from Sweetwater. Um, they had uh, two or three day shipping on it for free. Um, it's a great place to work with. This is not really a commercial for them, but you know, when you order something from Sweetwater, they give you a little pouch of candy. And this last pouch had Tootsie Rolls in there. So I'm their bitch. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps and uh, enjoy your vinyl.